Hey guys, it's Young Mind HS here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to create an unturned server. Now, the reason I'm remaking this video is it has changed a little bit. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go into your Steam, uh, find your unturned, right-click it, hit Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and then this will take you here. What you want to do is take all of this, copy it and then paste it into a folder on your desktop. So I've already done this, I didn't want you to uh, sit through me um, copying a file. Then what you want to do is find unturned.exe. If you're unable to find that, what you need to do is go up to the top here, hit view and click uh, file name extensions. This will basically show you the extensions to all the files. Then you want to right click unturned.exe, hit create shortcut, and then rename this shortcut um, unturned.exe.server. Obviously, because I've done this a couple of times, um, I'm going to have to go with server 4. Um, and then you want to right click on it again, hit properties, and then go to the end of this target and put dash no graphics dash batch mode space plus secure server and then a uh, uh, forward slash, and then we're looking for the name of the server, and I'm just going to call it Young Mind Unturned. Then we're going to hit Apply, and OK, and then we're going to run the server we just created. What this will basically do is it will create the server for us, and it will load all the files, and then we can edit it. So again, this can take a while. If you're running on a bit of a slower or low-end PC, um, this might take a while, don't worry, nothing's wrong, um, it can just take a while. So we basically just want to wait for this to load up, then we're going to close that down, edit a couple of things in the folders, so we can choose what map we want, um, set the ports and any passwords or stuff like that you want, name of the server, um, and then I'll show you how to load into the server. If it comes up with this, just click Allow Access. Um, what that basically means is it's letting unturned through the firewall um, so it can create the server. And when it says loading level 100% that means it's finished so all you want to do is type in shutdown and that will close it. Then you want to go into servers and the one you just created and um, the name of it. So mine was young mind unturned. Then you need to go into server and commands.dat. Then you want to right click and edit it. Then uh, we need to pick the name of the server, so I'm just going to call it um, Young Mind. Then we need the port, which is always 27015. Then we need the map. This is case sensitive, so remember if you're doing PEI, all caps, if you're doing Washington, the W should be capitalised. Um, and then if you wanted a password, you could do it like that, but I'm not interested. Then we need to save this. Now we want to go back to the main thing and run um, server 4 or whatever you called it obviously if you don't have uh, three other servers then you don't need to call it um, server 4 then what we're doing is loading this up again and make sure everything's working so it should say after this that uh, the map is set to PEI and that everything's working cool so that's it now so what you want to do to load into the server is go into Steam hit play Play unturned, then this will basically load up the game, you know how this works. Um, that will load unturned for you. Again, this can take a while, um, just depending on your machine and how fast it is, how slow it is. Um, you know how it works. So once we load in here, then we will be able to join the server. Now the way you join the server um, is the same as how your friends will join the server, but you will need to port forward for them to be able to do that. So then you want to hit play, connect, uh, type localhost in the IP, type the port 27015 that we typed again, and the password uh, if you set one. Then you want to hit connect, and this will connect you to your world. You see it's called Young Mind, it has all the settings we put, and then you would hit join here. And then that will load you into the game. Now, if you want your friends to join, you will need to port forward. So what you want to do is click the top right or go into the description um, and you'll get the playlist, which basically shows you how to port forward, how to get your friends in the game 
and it also shows you how to install mods and things like that. It's very useful. If this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a friend that wants to create a server, be sure to share it with them. But anyway, guys, till next time, I'll see you soon.